Hey everybody, what's up? I hope you're all having a great day today, and thank you so much for clicking on my video. This is going to be a very, very quick video, maybe five minutes at most, of me just talking about what is on my mind today, this afternoon, and then the rest will be just the extra video footage I had gotten while I was at the gym. I didn't do too many exercises. I focused more on the amount of sets I was doing. I also ended up not being able to use a lot of the footage for whatever reason. So I do apologize about that. But with all of that being said, today's video is just going to be a pretty fast one. I wanted to keep up the uploading schedule and showing you guys what I've been up to and how I'm feeling. I know watching YouTube for really everybody takes on a whole different form. Sometimes we watch it on the TV, we watch it on our phone, a computer, whatever the case may be. Sometimes you watch to be entertained, kill some time, sometimes you're aiming to even learn something. A lot of the times we watch YouTube videos depending on the type of mood that we're in and with my videos I really hope that I can just help someone or inspire someone. I know I'm not physically strong at least yet. I also know I'm not in the best of shape yet. I talked about a lot of this in my last video but this is a little bit different. I already knew that I was being super vulnerable by starting a YouTube channel and uploading to it, especially in something I'm not super familiar with or very confident in doing it. I know I will get stronger and better at working out. I've done a lot of research about health and fitness in general, but honestly, the best research is with action and experience when it comes to this. I will keep going to the gym. I'll keep working my butt off. This is more than just looking good for social media for me. We all have different reasons and those reasons could literally change day by day depending on how we feel on those days. And that's kind of the beauty of it, right? I had some pretty discouraging things messaged to me on Instagram after my last upload on YouTube. I won't call them out or anything or go into too much detail about exactly what was said and no i don't let all the comments and negative stuff get to my head i already know that would be uh just a disaster but it really does suck to see in the gym community when others knock you down and how you do things it was more of a personal thing i think for this person maybe it's something about me maybe it's about how i talk i'm not really sure but it was pretty sad and the thought has been sticking with me for some reason just non-stop like like I said in the last video, I will keep going, I will keep working, I will do whatever it takes, and I really, really mean that. I will be fixing my diet, which sure, I might not be as smart with my diet as it comes to my lifting knowledge. The experience is pretty much evenly tied if we are talking experience there. Right now I am pretty much breaking the bank on protein shakes, I know nothing about cooking. It's just been really hard, but I've been doing some research and when I have the time even watching YouTube videos about different recipes, even just looking into how to make different stuff like chicken and beef and hamburger, just basic stuff like that. But I will say this, I encourage everyone to voice their opinions no matter what. If you don't like me, then let me know. But let me know why. If I'm doing something wrong, tell me so I can fix it. I will never turn down constructive criticism. If I'm lifting wrong, why would you put me down about my form? That just doesn't really make sense to me. Just let me know how I can improve and let's be a little more positive. The gym is for improving ourselves, not putting one another down. I've been having trouble with muscle soreness the past couple of weeks. As I get back into this, that has been a really, really hard to deal with. Every morning, I stretch for about 15 minutes before work. That way, when I get out of work, I won't be too stiff to go to the gym. But there have been quite a few days where I just couldn't do it. Even if I did go to the gym, I would be too weak to get any muscle growth to happen with my condition. I'm looking forward to that not happening anymore so I can get back to doing a push-pull leg split schedule and make sure I'm getting in the gym no less than at minimum five times a week. Maybe in a few weeks when I'm a little more used to it again. Not sure how long that'll take exactly but we'll get there. I also finally set up the cheap cat barbell power rack that I bought for like 140 bucks a while back. I'm hoping I can use the little setup in my 
my room to help better condition my body in between my workouts over the next few weeks as my strength and condition improve. I do think that since I'm so weak anyway until I'm putting weight on the bar that would, if I did drop it, would break a hole in the floor. But until then, just keeping the thing inside of my room and using it for basic lifts, but mainly just stretching and keeping more active and motivated with that so close to me all the time when I'm at the house. Anyways, the next video will be legs. My first time training legs since I broke my foot after the toe amputation and I am really really nervous. It might not be too intense of a workout sure but if anything, I will at least get a few clips together and let you all know how it goes. I want to keep posting and by doing so, hopefully motivate those in a slump, get more people into a gym, put some smiles on your faces, and just have some fun. We let a lot of negative stuff happen to us these days and I for one am just not having it anymore. Anything negative these days, I will not let get me down or give any attention to it won't affect me whatsoever and that is a promise i have had to make to myself several times this year it's just something i keep telling myself today and i'm sticking to it thank you all so so much for watching my video make sure to go follow all the social media links linked in the description i am on tiktok instagram and snapchat i do even have a twitter i just hardly ever even open it but all of my handles are at Subflex Taylor. Make sure to help me with the YouTube algorithm by commenting and liking the video if you liked it. But if you disliked it, hey, just let me know why and go ahead and leave a comment. But let me know why you didn't like it. Then go ahead and hit that dislike button. That's fine. I won't be mad. I don't blame you. That's all I got for today, folks. Peace.